What's up guys, Scott Martin here, Scott Martin Challenge. We've got a great show for you today. We're here on the shores of Lake Okeechobee and my special guest today is, oh God, hey, I kind of look like Roland Martin, don't I? Well, I am Roland Martin and I'm gonna take this man down. In your dreams, stay tuned. It's gonna be an awesome show. pounds, five ounces, National Guard Pro, Scott Martin. Yeah, this is my show and my challenge. Each week I go out in the water with a different pro angler for a little friendly competition. Scott Martin, you're going down. No money on the line, just bragging rights. Yeah! Woo-hoo-hoo-hoo-hoo! Scott, look at that, buddy. <laughs> Love you a little freak nasty on him. Yeah! We'll get after it. What do you think? I got it. I'm ready. The challenge. Challenge. The challenge. The big fish of the day, son. All right. Buy okay. dinner. Ten dollars. Ten dollars. Dollar a pound. That's it. <laughs> All right. Let's get after it. You know, having an opportunity to spend a day on the water with my dad down here on Lake Okeechobee is an awesome day. You know, we're two peas in the pod. We're all about competition, and at the end of the day, he wants to beat me, and I surely want to beat him. Boy, this looks good. See all these mats right through here? Kind of open holes in between, uh, Scott. Yep. You know, when you're flipping these mats like this, you're not trying to catch 30 or 40 fish. You're trying to really target a, a big fish this time of the year. And sure enough, right off the bat, he's up there front ending me. He won't give me any room. He's on the front of my boat, halfway flipping over my line. I can't even hardly fish. There's one, there's one. Oh, 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 oh. Hey, Scott, he was right over there. He was right over there. He was right, yeah, the camera's right over there. Right over there. Man. Oh, man, what are you doing? <laughs> hey, what are you, you know, doing? fishing with my son, Scott, is, is, is always fun and games, but it's always competition. There he goes. Oh, oh yeah, nice. yeah, yeah. <laughs> and right off the bat, he catches a nice four pounder, you know. And of course, he's calling it four and a half, five. That's typical Roller Martin there for you, calling the fish bigger than they really are. But you know what? He's got me down. Look, you're in the lead. Oh, yeah, that's right. You're in the lead with four okay. pounds. Okay, Well, that's a little over four. <laughs> and now it gets bigger. Yeah, see? He was a whole lot over four. He was a whole lot over four? Oh, yeah, yeah. I'll give yeah. you four one. <laughs> four one, first fish. All I'm catching is these small fish, setting the hook, catching pound and a half, two pounders. And lo and behold, he catches another one close to five pounds. Yes, oh, sir. Gorilla's done. Gorilla time. Oh. Gorilla time. Gorilla time. Here. Oh, get him, Scott. All right. Oh, all right, son. All right. Uh, another. How big is that one? About five? Well, I don't know. He might be close to five. I'll give you five on that one. Close to five pounds. He's got a four and five. five. I better throw it back before you change your mind. <laughs> <laughs> I'm starting to get a little nervous about it. Man, I've got to put this big stick to work and catch a big fish. And a lot, you know, a lot of flipping is about patience. And as I flipped around and flipped around, I just kept focusing on what I'm doing, making those real accurate pitches. And I pitched real far back in this one mat, stroked it three or four times, and bam, that fish hit, set the hook, and I knew it was a big one. Right when I set the hook on that fish, it pulled back really hard, the whole mat's shaking around. I'm hanging on for dear life. He's a big one. You gotta get down there and get I, him. I know. Finally got the fish coming out, trolling motor in there, and dad reaches down and grabs it, and it's a trophy bass, one close yeah. to eight pounds. And I'm thinking, hey, this might be my opportunity to take him out. He might not catch a fish bigger than eight pounds. Eight pounds is a big time benchmark, you know, a day of fishing. I mean, there's a lot of days you don't catch an eight pounder. So to catch one, I'm thinking, he might not be able to beat me. We'll put him on my side. Woo! Well, that's a good one, one Scott. That's my that's side right there, by the way. That's a good one. That's a good one. That is a big, that fish big bass. Bit, it was in there. I stroked it four or five times, and he bit it. I hope we don't quit this thing now. Even though eight pounds is a real landmark, hey, it can be beat. Oh, my goodness. It's way bigger than I thought. The Scott Martin Challenge is brought to you by Bass Pro Shops. Your adventure starts here. Ranger Boats, still building legends, one at a time. 
Evan Rude E-Tech. Power, performance, and 300 hours with no dealer scheduled maintenance. And by Garmin, the clearest scanning sonar images on the water. This segment of the Scott Martin Challenge is brought to you by Laser Trocar, surgically sharpened hooks. Okuma Fishing Tackle, there's no stopping Okuma. And by Bob's Machine Shop, go fast, go shallow, go efficient. Make sure to follow the Scott Martin Challenge online to stay up to date with all the latest videos, fishing tips, and much more. Don't forget to find us on Facebook for a chance to win a fishing trip with Scott Martin on world famous Lake Okeechobee. Look at the five pounder. We're not feds in here. We, we want to catch. We want to catch another great big bass. We don't want to fool with any five pounder. Well, we kept flipping around, kept flipping around. The front's moving through. Then it laid down a little bit. The sun poked out for a little while. And we looked down in the water, and sure enough, we start seeing some bass beds around. See, what I do when I'm sight fishing, I don't move the bait much until that fish is back on the bed. Like right now, she's not on the bed. She swam off. There she is right now. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this grass to my advantage and get that bait in a position where I can hop it straight up instead of pulling it out of the bed. There she goes. Got her. got her, got her, way to go, way to go, oh. way to go. <laughs> oh, that's, that's awesome the right there. That's the deal, that's the deal. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Take it around the left side, around the left oh. side. It's oh. very good. Hey, you gave an ABC course of how to catch a big fish. <laughs> <laughs> it was nipping at it. Hey, you did a yeah. good job. I hey, positioned that bait, I had a white bait, a little white crawdad. Yeah. Positioned that bait over the lily pad so it could stay in the bed. Yeah. I didn't move the bait until the fish came into the bed. We won't let her go. She's a nice, close to five pounder. Yeah, that was sweet. That was, uh, awesome. that was good. That was good. That was good. I'm looking at my watch, and you know, it's it's not the end of the day. There's still a couple hours of good light left, and and it it's usually the afternoon bite on Okeechobee is sometimes the best bite. All right, so far I'm leading the challenge on the big fish, but we do have a pretty good little bag going. Five, yeah. another five, and a four, and an eight. That's 22 pounds with four. She's off the bed. I don't move. I don't move that bait. I let it totally sit still until she comes back on and I see her lock on that bed. Obviously, you have to have polarized glasses to do this. So see, there she is. She left the bed. She was getting fired up and she left. Let her come back. Oh, she's getting mad. Is she getting mad? Yeah. She's boiled up? Yeah, she's, she's really getting... And you can tell when they're getting mad because they'll leave the bed and come back real fast. And that's what she just yeah. did there. Oh, yeah. oh, that was awesome. That. I love it, son. Hey, awesome. <laughs> you called me. That was the deal. That was the deal. That was the deal. That's how you do it. That's the deal, son. That is worth getting out of Way bed for. Cool. Way to go. I love sight fishing. Oh, I've won a lot great. of tournaments. Another over big the years. old six pounder. Sight fishing. Oh, God. Look at that. Woo, son. Wow, awesome. <laughs> okay, now that's, 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 uh, that's almost 30 pounds. Yeah. Well, no, it's 28. 28, 28, that's another go. Now, Scott, for the sake of the film, you're going to have to let me catch one. You can't hog all these fish. Oh, yes, I can. This is a challenge. I found them. They're well, let fish. me run the trolling motor. Let me find them. Well, this is my boat. I don't let anybody just well, run my boat. Well, then it's not a challenge if you this don't is, give I'm me a professional e fisherman. equal time on the trolling my, motor. My insurance says I'm the only one supposed to be driving. I'm sorry. Well, well then it's not a challenge anymore. It's well, a one-sided challenge. You've set got, up deal. You've got 40 years on me. It's a one-sided thing. I go two or three fish into this, and Dad, I can tell he's getting a little frustrated because he's wanting to catch one of these sight fish too, but I don't want to let up. There you go. Big one? Yeah. Oh, wow. Look at that one. Frog. Frog. We caught them. How, how many different ways have we caught these big fish today, huh? Yeah, you, you huh? All kind of things. Golly, there you go. Dave. There you go. That's another big one. There you go. Another big one, boys. I'm telling you, catching them on all kind of baits. This is fishing <laughs> in its best, huh? Hey, you know what? I don't know how many fish you know we got. You know the best part about today? Do. Is I'm still beating it. Well, that's not right. really. I'm still beating. I'm still I've caught three big ones. It's oh, probably yeah. just a little bit smaller than yours. I think I that's had to right. beat. You got That's just a temporary big fish. It's not the big, big fish. You see? I think I have you beat. A little while later, Dad sees one. This is a true giant. 
I hope he doesn't catch this one, because if he catches this fish, he's gonna take me out. I mean, this thing looks like a 10 pounder. Closed captioning for the Scott Martin Challenge is brought to you by Angle Coolers, a legend in reliability. Check us out at angle-usa.com for more information and a chance to win a guided fishing trip with Scott Martin on Lake Okeechobee. This segment of the Scott Martin Challenge is brought to you by Bruiser Bates, knocking out the competition. Powerpole, swift, silent, secure. And by River to Sea, lures that produce results from River to Sea. You know, for all your fishing needs, Bass Pro is the place to be. They've got rods, reels, line, tackle, everything for your fishing adventure. So be sure to check them out online at BassPro.com or give them a call at 1-800-BASS-PRO and get your own catalog. Now, Scott, isn't it exciting and fun living here on Lake Okeechobee? I tell you what, it's the best place to live. The fishing's fantastic. The weather's great. It's just awesome. And I tell you what, if you're not into fishing, there's tons of other things to do. Sightseeing tours, airboat rides, Billy Swamp Safari down in the Everglades. You're centrally located to either coast. Tons of stuff to do. It's a lot of fun. Come on down to Lake Okeechobee in Henry County. Yeah, that's the thing. I mean, it's January. You can do lots of things down here. It's the springtime. Everywhere else, it's frozen. And that's the beautiful thing about going out of the Coolston area in Henry County. Down the southern end of the lake, you have swim bait, and you have mat flipping, you have open water hydrilla like we have here. You have access to all those great areas on the lake from right here in the Coolston spot. Big old five pounder. Woo, son. Man, look at that. Huh? Good yeah, job. Beautiful fish. <laughs> the old frog. A rain, a little bit of rain. Drop him back <laughs> in the water. Better, huh? All right. Hey, good job. Good All job. Right. You know, he's casting his frog around. He's casting the swim baits around. Any minute he could catch one of these true giants because when the fish are on beds, there's big fish in the area. Then we go a little bit farther and we see another really big bass on a bed and it won't bite. We sit there and try it and try it. It's like a nine or 10 pound bass. We fish for this fish for probably 20 minutes. The fish won't bite. It keeps swimming off, coming back, swimming off. Finally, we give up. You know what I'm gonna do, Dad? Let's, let's leave this fish. They're biting the frog pretty good. Let's okay. go on down a little farther. Okay. Sure. And uh, I'm gonna save a waypoint here on my Garmin. It assigns a name, but I'm gonna back it up. What do you think that fish weighs? Nine pounds? That's yeah. a nine pounder? I'll so. I'll put nine plus on the, on the deal. There we go. So when we come back down through here, if we mark more, I'll know that's the it one. It stays right there. Look at that thing, it's still in there. Okay, this sight fishing is starting to pay off. I know if I, if I can just get lucky, I can catch a really big fish. If you want to catch her, you better hurry up before okay. I grab my rod. Okay. Whoever grabs the rod the first. Dang. Shoot. We don't go maybe 30 more feet down this, down this little reed line, and Dad sees a giant. There's a five and there's like an eight. Is she looking at it? No, she circled on out, went on out. You got something to throw in there? I don't see much action. I mean, every time I throw the, the, the bait in there, little white creature bait, <laughs> that daggone fish kind of spooks out. He's finally he's underneath the mat for a while. He's out in the canal for a while. And I'm thinking, he's not going to bite it. He fishes for this fish for quite a while. And the fish, what happened, I was paying attention. The fish, instead of leaving, went up underneath the grass mat and kind of hid. So he said, oh, you go ahead and look for it and see if you can't catch this fish. So I pitched my bait, I pitched that bruiser intruder right in the little slimy grass mat. Wiggle the bait down through the grass mat. And sure enough, can't even see the fish. Fish grabs the bait, sets the hook. Almost a nine pound bass comes flying out of the mat. She's giant. Giant, oh, she's a big one. Oh, son, that's the one I was trying to catch. Oh, oh my gosh. Holy, that's a, look at this that's fish. That's a nine or 10 pounder. That oh, might be the one for the day. Big yes. one for the day. Yes. Oh, son. Yes. That was yes. the big one for the day. Ooh. Oh, man, alive. <laughs> we did it, son. <laughs> that Ooh. one, I gave up on it. That was the one I was fishing for. And I said, OK, son, try oh, to catch my it. God. There's another one that big back oh. there. I'm thinking, I'm really putting him on the ropes now. I've got an eight pounder. I've got one almost nine. And I'm excited about it. Almost nine pounds. Eight, 13. Eight, eight. 
Well, this fires Dad up even more. The day's not over, Scott. I'm telling you, I am not going to give up. I'm not going to give up. I'm not conceding yet. No, I am going to get you bigger fish. And so I said, boy, you know, it do doesn't take much to get a nine or 10 pound bass if you happen to, to get the right conditions. Those 15 or 20 days a year that they are spawning here on this lake, this is one of them. This is the, this is the opportunity of the year. <laughs> Hey, it's a great day, and it's even better that I'm beating the all-time world champion bass fisherman on this planet right here, guys. This man right here can beat five Kevin Van Dams. I don't care who you are. That's right. All right, you ready? I'm ready. All right, let's go find another one. Power pole up. We keep going down the bank. A little while later, Dad sees one. This is a true giant, and I'm worried. I'm thinking, man, I hope he doesn't catch this one, because if he catches this fish, He's going to take me out. Well, she's looking at it. There he is. Oh, that's a giant. Oh, my goodness. It's way bigger than I thought. The Scott Martin Challenge is brought to you by P-Line, delivering the leading edge of quality, high-performance fishing line. Startron, enzyme fuel treatment cures and prevents ethanol fuel problems. And by Hendry County Tourism. Let me show you a little bit about what I'm doing with sight fishing. First of, first of all, you know, hey, a lot of baits work. This little white creature bait that Bruiser makes, awesome little intruder. It's an intruder junior. I like small baits, little three inch baits. That's a great one. I've caught a few fish on this, a little crawdad. It's obviously white. Caught the last big one on that Bruiser intruder, you know, flipping it up there under those cattails. That fish was on the bed. And uh, that's a nice bait. And then, of course, a little Bruiser hog or a little zoom zoom hog. Any of these little things will work. Uh, I like to have lots of different variations because what you'll notice is that these fish will act different throughout the day. Some fish react better to other baits. So I have a pocket full of them. When I'm sight fishing, I'll keep changing baits and see which ones those fish react the best to. Simple rig, 3 8 ounce weight, braided line, TK-130. Get that set up, put it on a big heavy rod because you're dealing with some big fish. 7.6 Akuma, Scott Martin series. I love them. All right, guys, that's my deal. They're biting so Ooh. good, man. They're everywhere. They're yeah. everywhere. Let's find another one. You know, when we set up on that last fish, that giant bass, I'm hoping Dad will give up on it. That other one's bigger. Yeah, yeah. That's that's eight or not. That's a uh, seven or eight. That's a pretty big one. Dad's caught a ton of fish off the beds over the years, and he's great at it. He wiggles that worm along. That fish spins around. I'll watch the whole thing. There he is. Oh, that's a giant. Way bigger than I thought. Whoa! Whoa! He's hit! Whoa. He's hit! That's a big one! That's a big oh one! That big old bass bites that lure. He sets a hook, and here she comes, jumping all around the boat, thrashing around. This is a 10 pounder. Giant. <laughs> giant. Oh, don't let him jump too much. Oh, that might be a 10. <laughs> oh. Oh. oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. 10 oh, pounds! Oh, wow. <laughs> the big one! Wow! Son! <laughs> we get the fish in the boat and weigh it. Sure enough, a true Florida trophy bass. 10 pounds, four ounces. He's got me. He wins the challenge. Game over. But you know what? If I'm gonna lose to anybody, Losing to my dad's not so painful, but I'll be honest with you. Getting smashed in the face by a true 10 pounder, that hurt pretty bad. I think you got me. Ooh, I think you got me. That's a big son of a gun there, boys. I think you got me. Huh? I think you got me so far. Hold on, let me. That's it. Right there. Is good? Oh! Don't move it. Don't move it. 10 four. 10 four. <laughs> You caught a 10 pounder! I love a 10 pounder. Oh my goodness. I love goodness. 10 pounders. We gotta oh let my him goodness. Go. We have to let him go. Look at that fish. We gotta let him go. What was it? 10 4. 10 4. 10 4. 10 4. 10 4. 10 4. Yes! I love it. Hey, mega oh, bag. Okay. Let the fish okay. go. Let the fish go. Let the fish go. go. Okay. On this okay. side. On this side? That's where she goes, right okay. back over right there. Right back here. Okay. God. Okay. Please. 10 4. 10 4. Wow. Look at that. <laughs> hey. Hey, I tell you what, oh, yeah. what an awesome day. What a day. What how a, many, how many, that is 40 pounds. I, we no, got close to 40 pounds. Yeah, that is ridiculous. But, but it's the day's not moon. over. The day's not over. It's a full moon. I'm going to catch a bigger fish. 
Okay, come on. Let's go. Hey, come on. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, one more. Hurry up. One more. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Hurry up. Okay. Hurry up. Listen, we're wasting time. You know, following in his footsteps is is something that's pretty dear to my heart. You know, watching him over the years win all these tournaments and the hard work that he's put in. You know, I'm trying to follow in his footsteps. So to have him on the show and to spend time with him because we just don't get an opportunity to. As much as I'm filming and fishing tournaments and he's filming and fishing all over the country doing his stuff, it's a special day to spend 12 hours with my dad in the boat. Oh my goodness. How big is it? Oh, look at that one. Oh, oh the guy. <laughs> oh, the Boy, I really look forward to fishing with Scott whenever I can and particularly doing films together, projects like this. It's friendly competition. You know, it's one-on-one. -on -one. It's a little bit of a one-upsmanship kind of a situation, but it's a lot of fun. It's really re rewarding. Do that big old bass. How big is that one? Wow. Six and a half. I'll tell you what. Mm. Unbelievable. How big is that one? Unbelievable. Six and another, a half, close to another, seven. That's another big Look seven pound bass. Look at that bass. big old bass. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! What a day. This is what, I, I, I don't know. These are not typical results, I'm gonna promise you that. You don't catch a 40 pound bag every day you go fishing. This is a special day. I'm just gonna go ahead and tell you that. Special day when I can beat Scott. For more information about how and where we fished, be sure to check out fishhound.com, your best resource for great fishing. All right. Oh, all right, son, all right. Bam, bam, yeah. That is good. Oh, so that's good. You have to weigh that one. <laughs>